Hello you guys! I am so excited to be making you guys a new video and today's video is going to be very exciting. Um, it's actually going to be very exciting for me because I don't know how it's going to turn out but we will find out together. Okay, so pretty much my homecoming is in like four days, four or five days and I don't have time to go buy a dress and even if I did have time to go buy a dress I don't want to pay 50 or more dollars on a dress that I'm only going to wear once in my life. So, I have decided to make my own dress. That is right. You guys are all like, whoa, Jules, do you know what you're doing? Well, to be honest, I have no clue what I'm doing. I don't sew. I don't do dressmaking. I don't do anything along those lines. So, we'll find out how this goes. It'll be a journey for both of us because I have no clue what I'm doing. So, pretty much, I was digging through my closet and I found this old white skirt that I never really wear because the length is a little bit too long. For me and so I was like hey maybe if I pull it up to right here it will make a good dress and so light bulbs are popping off in my head and so I will show you what the skirt looks like on and then I will take you through my journey of making the dress so here is the skirt and I mean it's cute but I just don't really wear this style skirt and so I decided that I was gonna turn this into a homecoming dress and I know okay I'm actually really nervous because you know Homecoming is a big deal and you know, it's a school dance. You don't want your dress to look cheesy. You want it to look nice So this is gonna be a little DIY project for myself and I'm actually pretty nervous But I am taking you guys along on the journey and um, Yeah, we'll see how this turns out Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm actually the dress when I put it up to my chest the chest area was a little bit loose, and especially for a dress, especially when you're dancing, you don't want a loose upper spot or upper top area. <laughs> what am I saying? I don't even know. Anyways, so I'm pretty much just, um, where's my needle? Here it is. I'm actually just hand sewing. I drew a line, but I'm actually not following the line very well. Um, but I'm just hand sewing along the line all the way up. I flipped it inside out first, and then I'm just sewing all along up to the top just so that it'll tighten this area. So instead of being this big, it'll actually be this big. So it'll make it tighter, and um, that way your dress won't fall down while you're dancing. Okay, so I have finished sewing along, and guys, just to warn you guys, this is like my first sewing project I've ever done, and just sewing this took me around like 10 minutes, so it wasn't even that long. I probably could have done it in like 5 minutes if I was rushing, but um, yeah. And guys, can we please just take a moment to observe these adorable little sewing scissors like I found this cute little sewing kit and everything I need is in this little kit so I found this little white spoolie like everything is miniature it is darling so there's like this teensy little spoolie and these adorable little scissors that my little fingers can barely fit through and look at that they're just so cute okay enough with the cuteness okay so I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine inside out and show you the seam the new seam that I just made Okay, so I have flipped my skirt inside out, and so here's the seam, and it pretty much looks like a seam out of a normal dress. Like, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I mean, if I could do this and my sewing skills are very low, then that means you guys could do the same thing. And so, yeah, it just looks like a normal seam, but it just tightened my dress by this much. It took that much tightness off of my dress, so it'll make it tighter around my chest area, which will make it not fall down, which is a good thing. Okay, so as you guys can see, this can actually make a pretty cute, like, strapless white dress. But I actually, I don't really do strapless dresses. I mean, they look absolutely stunning on other girls. But I don't know. Strapless dresses just ain't my cup of tea. So I found this cool looking lace stuff somewhere in my bedroom. And so I'm going to make some lace sleeves, which I think would look really pretty. Um, so we'll see how that goes, and I will film me making those. Okay, so this is what the dress, or I guess skirt, looks like on, and it actually looks exactly like a sleeveless dress. Anyways, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so this is the fabulous lace stuff that I'm going to use as my sleeves. So I'm just going to go like this, and I'm just going to attach it to my dress, and then I'll be heading off to homecoming. Is it weird to you guys that I'm making my dress the day of homecoming? Like, I feel like the average girl doesn't do that, but... Whoopsie, I ran out of time. Okay, you guys, so I have pretty much cut two, uh, the lens cap keeps getting on the way. So I pretty much cut two, um, semi-even, they're supposed to be even, sections of lace from my fabulous lace. And guys, you know how cute these little scissors are? 
I found their mother. Look, it's mother and little baby. So cute. Anyways, so yeah, and I'm going to try to attempt to put this on my dress now. We'll see how it goes. Okay, you guys, I do not recommend you doing this at home, but because I'm running out of time, I'm doing it. So I'm pretty much just sewing the sleeve on while it's on me, which is not a smart idea, kids. But once again, I am running out of time. So I'm pretty much just sewing on the lace with my little needle. Be sure not to poke yourself, or just be sure not to do this method, because this is pretty dumb of me, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, I'm just going ahead and sewing this on like so. Now both of the sleeves are on, and I have 20 minutes to spare before I have to leave for the dance. Psh, procrastination? Nah. Anyways, so yeah, um, this was my little simple DIY. Um, I was pretty nervous at the beginning, but actually I realized it's not even that hard, so I don't sew at all, but which means that you guys can do this. No problem. Okay, so this is my final look for homecoming. I'm about to leave in like two seconds. So pretty much I have my dress on, and then I just did a simple braid in my hair, and then I just added these cool little pearls. Um, it's really easy to make them. It's just bobby pins and pearls. If you guys want a tutorial on how to do this hairstyle, just comment below and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.